I think the biggest sort of market or the vertical that's gonna feel the most innovation or disruption from IoT without any questions going to be medical. Already happening. I just saw a sensor uh, two hours ago that goes into every single pill. It's a microscopic sensor, like the size of sand, that goes in the pill, and you have a wearable patch. Let's say you're at a, at the doctor's office, or you're uh, at home, or even at the hospital, and the sensor that goes through the pill into your stomach is activated by the acid in your stomach and has a little magnesium and it sends off just enough of an electric pulse that the patch will recognize it and tell the doctor that you took your pill. Microscopic sensor. And they're saying this is gonna be literally in the real market in a year to two years from now. Hardware is challenging, obviously, but it's there's a reason for it, and it's fun, and it's fine, and you can do it, and we really do want to help, and we work with great partners that also do this, like Bolt and Accelerator, and Highway One, and Lemnos, and all these other great IoT accelerators also, because we really do believe that this deserves to exist. You will never be Instagram doing IoT. You will not have eight people sitting in a basement exiting for over a billion dollars and never having to leave your space. Like that's not gonna happen in IoT. You're building a very real physical products company, which most people have not done before. You're building a very real software company with both cloud, firmware, and mobile all at the same time. You're building a data company. And then on top of it all, you're having to learn how to do SaaS business models. So you're dealing with ongoing revenue streams and ongoing user engagement over the long term. It's also new. It's not very well documented. Software is, I mean, there's literally just textbooks on how to build software companies. And IoT and hardware is starting but I think we're a few years away at least. But I, I do think there's really big returns. I think teams that get it see that physical goods make money, they help sustain operations, they give an emotional relationship to the user like wearable devices or objects in your bedroom or your kitchen. So with that same challenge comes a lot of reward. Ultimately, to me, the, the thing I get the most excited about is seeing a founder's idea you know, from an early stage to up and running, profitable, and running, ready to grow very quickly. I love that about what we do and that our founders want to build these sustainable companies because that gives them the chance to really have the amazing growth that you want in a venture-based investment model, but without all that downside risk. So the technology is amazing. We see the coolest stuff ever. Every single day, it's just fun. But I, I think I get just as excited about the technology as I do about actually the businesses. So the most interesting technologies I think we are seeing today are med tech, so sort of health tech technology. We have an amazing device we've invested in which actually can predict a heart attack up to 10 minutes before it happens, which is unbelievable. One of the, the first technologies we invested in was a company called Omeo Audio. And it's, you know, we call it eyeglasses for your ears. So you think that you understand hearing, but you usually don't pay attention to it. So what it does is you put in any set of earphones, it actually maps your left and right hearing, which is specifically, you know, specific to you. It's actually different for you or anyone else than it is for me. So what it does is it creates an, an algorithm and an actual hearing print, we call the Omeogram, and it stores that on your device. So we have a little piece of hardware we've made. We can also put it in your phone, we can put it in the cloud, we can put it in the computer, put it in your Tesla, doesn't matter. And it'll follow you throughout your life. And what it does is it routes the audio back to you perfectly meant for your left and right ears. And their eyes go like this, they say, I can hear in 3D. What did you do? Like, how did you do that? I've never heard that before. And this is audio, this is your life. It's the whole world around you. I do believe, and I really hope that in the next two years, we'll start seeing what we call the problem of IOT, which is why we're doing this in the first place, which is not to you know, track our steps. It's to add deep insight that makes our lives better. These new technologies are going to need time. And I think, based on the research I've done and the experts that we talked to, that in the next five years, we should really see the beginning of new materials. So smart fabrics, sensors that can live or distributed in cement and the streets and the walls and it's not going to happen in mass scale yet but I think we'll see commercial applications so I always say in 10 years I think we will profoundly have a different world than we have today and in 20 years we probably won't recognize almost anything. For me and, and what I do in IoT, digital disruption means unleashing the, de the data and the information from all of the objects in our lives. So. 
understanding ourselves, the world around us, how we interact with things that we never pay attention to, and then doing something with that information. So I think we can unlock unbelievable insights and make life better for everyone around the world. God, it's a good question. Mm.